Morning. My name is Gwen McKenzie. I'm the president and CEO of the Sarasota Memorial Healthcare System, and we have a really exciting announcement for our community today. Sarasota Memorial is really fortunate to always attract exceptionally trained and experienced cardiologists and cardiac surgeons because in large part of our commitment to academic medicine to the people in our community. And our affiliation with Columbia is really evidence of this and raising the bar even higher. Today we're building on that success and we're proud to announce the appointment of Dr. Jeffrey Sell as our new Chief of Cardiac Surgery. As Chief, he will be part of an already established strong team of cardiologists and cardiovascular and cardiothoracic surgeons at Sarasota Memorial as we enter the new innovative era of cardiovascular medicine. Dr. Sell comes to us from the Baltimore, Washington area where he has served as attending cardiac surgeon at most of the region's best medical centers. He has more than three decades of experience in cardiac surgery, research and analysis, and advancing new minimally invasive procedures. His training took place at three of the top universities in the world, Harvard, MIT, and Yale. He earned bachelor's degrees in chemistry and physics, summa cum laude, from Yale University, and his medical degree from the Harvard-MIT joint program in health science and technology. The joint Harvard-MIT program is a unique collaboration that adds a strong scientific and technical component to Harvard's already superior medical training. He completed a general and cardiac surgery internship and residency at Brigham and Women's Hospital and Children's Hospital of Boston, where he served as chief resident along the way and spent two years as clinical associate in research at the National Institutes of Health and another year in a postdoctoral fellowship in cardiac surgery at Children's Hospital of Boston. In addition to his considerable leadership and clinical excellence, he remains heavily involved in the academic setting as a professor and researcher. Much of his research is focused on keeping patients safe, studies that evaluate the safety and efficacy of medications and devices designed to prevent surgical complications and those that determine which patients are most likely to benefit from new approaches in heart surgery. We're thankful to the Columbia team for helping us in our search for a new chief. And now I'd like to introduce Dr. Michael Argianziano, Section Chief of Cardiac Surgery at Columbia University Medical Center to tell you a little more about Dr. Sell. Thanks, Thanks very much. We are uh, we're very excited to be here today, but more importantly, we're excited about uh, the future. Uh, we uh, at Columbia University Medical Center have the opportunity to work with programs really around the country and, uh, and even outside this country uh, to build uh, better programs and to, and to act as consultants to, to help programs like this um, to go to the next step, as it were. And I have to say that the process that we have just completed in the, uh, in the recruitment uh, of Dr. Sell uh, has been really very, very enlightening for us. You know, we, we had hundreds and hundreds of applications for the position. Uh, which is, of course, uh, not surprising to us and shouldn't be surprising to the people here because of really the outstanding uh, opportunity that this is. Uh, you know, Sarasota is a great city to live in and this is a great medical center and certainly um, an opportunity uh, for, for anyone uh, who would like to um, take cardiovascular medicine to the next step. Uh, this, the community is very supportive, as you know, uh, and so again, really an outstanding opportunity. And so we have lots of interest and we, we screened hundreds applications and when I, I remember when I met and interviewed uh, Dr. Sell I was particularly impressed uh, by him you know what we often like to say is that when you are looking for uh, to fill a position usually the people who uh, are, are interested in the position aren't the people you're interested in right and, you know we said that before um, that all the good people are happy where they are uh, but when I when I saw Dr. Sell and I got a chance to meet him I said God you know we got to jump on this before something happens before somebody else figures this out um, he is really one of the most accomplished cardiovascular surgeons uh, that I've met. He has a rare combination of skill sets, which includes pediatric or congenital heart surgery, 
as well as adult cardiac surgery. He's worked in academic and in community settings. He's done research. He's worked in a variety of business models. And I really felt that uh, his commitment to some of the more uh, novel areas in our specialty, minimally invasive and catheter and hybrid procedures like the ones that are going to be done here in Sarasota, really poised uh, Dr. Sell to really be uh, the leader that this, uh, that this place needed um, to take it to the next level. And so um, what we're very excited about is not just, you know, dropping Dr. Sell in here you know, on a parachute and saying good luck, but we're actually most excited about the fact that at Columbia we're going to be working with you um, to, uh, to bring some of these new technologies. And already, uh, as you know, s uh, several uh, trans-aortic uh, valve replacements or percutaneous replacements have been done here already, which is really a, te a testament to the fact that this institution is ready and, and able to go ahead. And I think with Dr. Sell's leadership uh, and with the continued support of the outstanding administration, cardiology groups, and really, most importantly, the community, uh, I think this is a very exciting day. And I think uh, you should all expect a lot a lot from this outstanding team. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce uh, Jeffrey Sell. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Gwen. Uh, I'm very excited to be coming here. It, it's just a terrific hospital. Uh, I've, I've been in some of the greatest hospitals in the United States, and, uh, and coming down here just seems like a great opportunity. It's one of the first hospitals uh, back in the early 80s where Dr. Kelly and Dr. Snyder, and Dr. Kelly's here and, and still here, brought uh, open heart surgery out of the academic setting and into the community setting, and that was a, an era of huge turning points for the uh, for heart surgery in the United States, and, uh, and now this program has grown, uh, and the new cutting-edge techniques that are available here uh, are spectacular. The uh, opening of the new hybrid lab, which is coming soon, will enable us to do uh, uh, all kinds of new things, particularly new ways to put aortic valves in patients who are too sick for surgery, and, and uh, mitral valves, which may be coming down the road, and other, other surgery, which will take the the heavy burden of open heart operations off some of the older and sicker patients and allow them to look at a, a, a greater long-term uh, uh, survival and not just surviving but enjoying life into their older years as people are living longer and longer. So our goal here is to really uh, make a healthier community, make that process a safer process and to do it with uh, good fiscal responsibility and I think that we can do all of that very well here. It's a fantastic setting, all the pieces are here and the support of Columbia is exactly the way I thought that the uh, programs should unite between the community and the academic center, uh, especially with, with people like Mike, who, who's got such a great insight into the techniques and, uh, and the decision making of what we do. So thanks, and I'm looking forward to coming. Dr. Sell and Dr. Arjanziano and Dr. Kelly, would you peek around the corner here so we can see you? Dr. Kelly started the program. We've done 28,000 open heart surgery since Dr. Kelly started in the 1980s. Dr. Paul Kurlansky is here, also from Columbia. Judy Tingley from Columbia. I think David Patterson, our executive, will take you through our hybrid operating room, but I did want to mention Dr. Arjanziano and Dr. Sell will be available for interviews. If you'd like to interview one of our board members about their commitment to the fiscal um, area of this program and our investment, the chairman of our board, Dr. Dick Merritt, is here as well. So with that, I think we're ready for tours. Thank you very much. <laughs>